everyone, James Mansell here bringing you yet another video. Oh my God, you guys, I am doing something I haven't done since my very first wig video. I am transferring a wig from the Vivica A. Fox collection. Yes, I got this on Amazon.com. Now, story time. The very first wig transformation I have ever done on this channel was a Vivica A. Fox wig years ago. So I figured why not revisit this brand and see how far they've come and see how far I've come from that first video because if you saw my reaction, it was a journey. So let's see how everything holds up. All right, now if you follow me on Instagram, you probably already seen me pose with this, but I got my YouTube plaque. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, look how great it is. Oh my, you it's mirrors, you probably see my backdrop. Anyways, <laughs> I'm so excited. I finally got my plaque for 100K subscribers. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. Okay, now I watched a lot of these videos where people unbox them and they all get the same note, but I'm gonna read it for you guys anyway, even though you probably heard it from other creators you've watched. Here we go, from YouTube. You've just done something that very few YouTube creators accomplish. You had an astounding 100,000 people subscribe to your channel. We know that numbers on YouTube can get really big, but we hope that you don't lose sight of the reality behind that six digit milestone. I won't, and I want more. Each and every person who has subscribed to your channel has been touched by what you created. They were inspired, challenged, or entertained. God, I hope so. You achieved this milestone with hard work, perseverance, and probably a healthy sense of humor too. Well, a little healthy. I have a Mountain Dew right there. What you've accomplished can't be taken away from you, and we like to recognize you and all your hard work with this Silver Creator Award, a small token of our esteem and respect. We know that you don't do this for a reward. Well, it's half true. <laughs> you do it because you have a drive to create and share and because you found an audience who cares. Believe us when we say that we can't wait to see what you do next. A million subscribers may be a long way off right now, but you're closer than you think and we're rooting for you. Oh, sorry, triggered, triggered flashbacks. That's what RuPaul said to me on Drag Race. Anyways, oh, congratulations. Yours sincerely, Susan Whoa, whoa, that's a lot of C's in that last name. Whoa, just, whoa, just, whoa, just get, Susan W. <laughs> thank you. Oh my gosh, thanks so much, YouTube. And thank you guys again and again and again. All right, now let's unbox the Vivica A. Fox wig. This one is the Jumbo Swiss Lace Front Wig, ear to ear, free part. That's wonderful. And the style's name is Eunice. And colors FS1B slash 30, which means um jet black with light brown caramel highlights. Very, very subtle, subtle, subtle highlights. All right, let's take this out. Look at me knowing the hair codes. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, that all fell apart. Okay. All right, well, that's fine. Let's see what the wig looks like. I forget how they pack these things. My god, there's everything inside this. It's like unboxing a Barbie. All right, got the little tablets and the wig cap and more foam. Good Lord. All right, this is the wig. <laughs> you are a familiar nemesis. Oh my goodness, this is a beauty shop wig. Yes, I may have explained this before. If you watch my wigs 101 video, this is a beauty shop lace. Although I have to say, they really have stepped up their game. It feels like it is Swiss lace now. It's not like that hard plastic that like stabs you in your forehead, like having a screen door on your forehead. Yeah, it's not like that anymore. They have a nice softer lace, which is really great. This is the inside and that is that parting they're talking about. There's your parting space. Like they said, it's six around and four going back for your part. All right, let's put her on a head and see how she <laughs> looks. Welcome back. This is the hair straight out the bag. And I'm actually not mad at this. This is actually kind of pretty now I'm looking at it. I just ran a brush through it a little bit and did you change her wig? Don't act like you didn't just sell my hair. Anyways, <laughs> this is the hair. Yeah, like I said, it's not that bad. It's actually pretty cute. The lace is a bit deep for me. As far as beauty shop wigs go, this one's actually a pretty decent one. Vivica A. Fox makes a good product. I'll say that right now. So this wig is about $50, which is about a usual asking price for a lace front wig. If you go to a beauty shop, that's probably what you're gonna walk away with. You can't really haggle it any lower than that. And I originally ordered a 613 Platinum Blonde and this is what they sent me. So 
Good going, Amazon. I say I'm not mad at it. I do like a brunette hair color, so we'll, we'll work with it. We'll make this work. All right, I'm going to take this off my head, and I'll be right back with our transformation. <laughs> All right, I am back. So what I'm going to do right now is start styling this wig. Yes, I got my hair back on, so let's see how this wig will turn out. It's actually pretty decent quality hair. Like as far as beauty shop wigs go, you can get something that's readily available and actually is a pretty decent quality. As far as quality goes, is it better than the Raquel Welch lace frontal? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Controversial statements right here, right now. Drop the bomb. That's my hot take. All right. The hairstyle I want to do today, I already pre-decided it. I want to do like a Diana Ross and the Supremes inspired hairstyle. So that way I can just give this wig to Nina Bonilla Brown after we're done, because she's been begging me for one of those for a minute now. And the good thing about that like U-shaped cap is it's perfect to do bangs with because it already sections it all off for you. And with bangs, I just want to create like a little triangle. And I still want to leave some space here because we have to bouffant this all up too. So you're just playing around with that. All right, now let's start teasing it. As far as packing the hair down goes, it's actually a very familiar nemesis of mine. I've worked so many years with these kind of wigs before. And some of them are terrible. But when you stumble upon the right one, which is usually like the darker colors, they're gorgeous to style out into styles. The blondes are kind of dodgy. And they're very, very thin when it comes to the track amount and how much hair is actually on the tracks. They're very, very thin tracks. So you gotta play your cards wisely with how you do your teasing and do it like the old school beauty way, like in beauty school where they teach you to do section by section. You can't use like, you know, the big brush, otherwise you're gonna get like knots and dreads. All right, now if you look at that, that is our old school beauty school kind of teasing where it's section by section by section. All right, now I'm gonna do all around here and do the back as well. She is all teased out. Now she still needs a haircut and some styling still, but I actually am impressed at how it's teased out. I have to say for a beauty shop wig, they have stepped their game up. Y'all aren't playing around anymore. But I'm just going in with my pick, packing in some more teasing because with the Supremes wigs, what I always found fascinating about them is like when the Supremes wore their wigs, they'd buy like a regular styled wig, right? But to stand out, they would take the wig and shift it. Like they shift it to the side. So it'd create like this new unique hairstyle or they'd flip the wig around and wear it backwards just so they could stand out and look different from all the other girl groups at that time. And it was a really, really ingenious idea because that's exactly what they did. They had hairstyles that were like no one else's and they had a look that was elegant unlike a lot of other girls who are very more being marketed as young teenage girls in like prom dresses, the Supremes wore gowns. They were elegant. They were ladies, they're sophisticated, is what Barry Gordy was going for. So with a mixture of the sophisticated look, they had to have like the fun, futuristic -y hairstyles that were like out of this world. And that's what we're doing today. We're gonna do sort of like a bionic bubble flip to one side that is totally like unintentionally just like out of another universe. And you achieve this with lots and lots and lots of hairspray. With 1960s hairstyles, there's no way around that. You have to have hairspray and lots of teasing. Now comes our first part of the haircut. I'll turn this so you can see a little bit. I'm gonna cut at an angle. giving it a little bit of length still, but also like small and long, because that's gonna help add to like the swirl effect here. So we want it to swirl up like that. You also could do this on a hard front wig with a bang. It would look really, really gorgeous as well. I feel like that's what a lot of like the Halloween costumes are. Like they're usually like a hard front, like bouffant, that's never really as good. I always find like the best result you get is by doing it yourself. Or, you know, paying somebody that knows what they're doing. <laughs> All right, now I have that where I want it to go. It's gonna look like that when I'm done, but let's focus on the rest of the hair and we also have to create a big flip here. I just love it, like it goes to show, no matter what the wig's price is, where it's from, if you work hard enough, you can get something out of it. 
All right, I'm back. I smoothed it all out and I took a little bit of the bangs and swept them up in here. I just teased it like I did the rest of the hair and just swept them up because it needed more. And I decided I wanted to do a smaller bang anyway. So I'm gonna take what I have here and just permatease down here to the roots just to give it more volume. There, that way the bang will hang over like that. I'm gonna cut some bangs, some really small ones. All soaked up with hairspray and part them up so they're a little spidery and lay them to the side. You just take a little bobby pin to train it to stay there. This will come out when the style's done. Okay, let's get a little spidery bang like that. Okay, now for this section here, we're coming back to it now. I'm gonna go through my comb and make sure my ends are untangled and we're gonna do what I call a faux bob where we take what we did here and we're gonna roll it up, barrel curl it so it's stuck like that. And it's gonna take a little bit to master and you're gonna make sure your hair is nice and nice and smooth. But we're gonna have it stuck like that. We're gonna take some bobby pins and pin that back and it's gonna create the faux bob. And obviously you wanna use black bobby pins if you're doing this on black hair, but I want you guys to see what I'm doing here. So it's gonna be blonde bobby pins today. And it'll hold the hair up like that. And you just gotta make sure there's enough here and back here to make sure the hair is just sticking straight up like that. We don't want it dangling like that because it's just gonna fall from its own weight. The importance of teasing because then it has hair to cling on to. Then hairspray. If you have pomade, you can use that too. And just smooth around inside your little barrel curl. And I'm gonna do that all around the wig. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna do that all around the wig. I hate this wig stand. Okay, make sure it's detangled. That's why I left it inconsistent lengths like that. So then I can victory roll it up. All right, as I get to this part, we're gonna do something a little differently. Like it's gonna go under, and then it's gonna flare up going like this. And this is gonna be a bit of work because it's gonna be sort of like how I made those spikes on that Goku wig. Or I should say the anime wig. <laughs> you have to make sure your ends are detangled. And if you need to add more teasing, do it right now, which I may need to do looking at it because you don't wanna be too heavy. The teasing adds air and that's what helps it stick to stuff. All right, hairspray too helps grip. And this is gonna take you a long time to master. Even I'm not the best at it. Oh, oh, I didn't see you there. Hello, James Mansfield here. I'm just doing some weed whacking with the Weed Whacker from Manscaped. It's got a charger port and it's water safe. And all this wonderful stuff too. Big words I can't pronounce. Be sure and use my code, James20 or Mansfield for 20% off your purchase plus free shipping. Get yours today. And dark hair is always the best to do these kind of hairstyles with because like I said lots of lots of times before, dark hair is very forgiving and hides a lot of mistakes. So always practice if you're styling hair. I'd say rec I always recommend doing a dark hair before you graduate to lighter shades because the lighter the hair is like a platinum blonde will always show any kind of flaw. Any kind of mistake will definitely read through. Just like that, I want to mold around <laughs> the stand. Oh my God. Oh, it's evil, I tell you, evil. If you curled the hair beforehand, this would also be a little easier, but you don't necessarily have to curl the wig. Bear in mind though, if you don't curl the wig and you don't have the extra support, the wig is more likely to fall apart if you're doing a lot of like intense performing in it. But if you're like doing this for a photo shoot or something like that, you're gonna be good. Don't worry about it. All right, we're almost done. I just have to get my blow dry ready. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so this is her so far. Now we're gonna do a finishing touch here. I don't have a diffuser, but I know a little secret to cheat your blow dryer so you have like a diffuser effect. It's really, really simple and so cheap. Okay, so use your wet hairspray. Spray a section that you wanna mold. Grab your blow dryer. You cover the, sorry. 
grab your blow dryer and you cover the back of it with your palm and you strategically hold it like that. If you have a blow dryer that you don't have to hold down, it's the best. Okay, so I'm gonna use blow heat. And when you cover it like that, the heat gets hotter. But you want to be careful when doing this, especially when it's like high heat, because the hair can get way too hot and it'll start to shrivel up and burn. So you want to like really, you know, tread wisely with this. Start in the bottom sections that people aren't going to see if you're going to fry it. But what this does is it makes the hair rock solid. You see, I bumped it, and even though I bumped it and I got scared, it stayed still. And when it's certain hairstyles that can't go out of place, this is a very good technique to do like your updos or anything that's very sculptured and you want it to stay still, heat it in place. But just know that you're not gonna get this hair back afterward. And that is our final result. <laughs> Reflections of how we used to be. Look at that. Diana Ross and the Supremes have arrived. I'm in love. All right, let's try her on and see how she looks. <laughs> Welcome back. This is the final result. Oh my God. <laughs> baby love. Ooh, baby love. I need you. Oh, I need you. My God, this wig is cute. I have to say, the Vivica A. Fox collection is lit, girl. Like, it is so cute. How affordable the wigs are and the quality of the hair. And this wig is actually a lot denser than I thought it was going to be. For 50 bucks, that's a pretty good bargain. The only downside is it's a limited stock of lace colors you can get. Like, it's always a deep lace. But, you know, if you can work around that, it's fine. Again, make bangs, do a rooted hairline. I don't care. Make it work. Like I said, every wig you can make work. Now, this wig is fabulous, but it is just missing one more thing. The James Mansfield Magical Wig Spray from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. Let's just give this wig a spritz. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> ah, now my hair smells just like cream soda. Available at blackphoenixalchemylab.com. Now, I would like to take a moment, a Ven moment, where I thank all of you who's tipped me on Venmo. I would like to thank Garrett Tazak Tazakel Tazakel. Let me know if I said that right, honey. Give me a pronunciation in the bottom. I don't want to like butcher your name like that. Tazakel Hilario. Um, oh, no, that's Kenny. Uh, Sylvia doesn't get a thin end moment. Okay, <laughs> Sylvia shouldn't get anything. Matt Brian Zachary Chris and Olivia. <laughs> thank you all so much for the tips on Venmo. Now this week was fun. I have to say it was a lot of fun revisiting the Vivica A. Fox collection. Now I kind of have a better grasp of what I'm doing with wigs. That first wig I did with this collection, girl, was not the tea. It was all sorts of just haggard and butchered and oh, so much teasing in the wrong places. This is actually really fun and flirty. And I feel like a 1960s bombshell. Like I'm ready to go on like, you know, American Bandstand or something. You look like Rosie O'Donnell in the Flintstones movie. I said what I said. Yeah, Vic A. Fox, she makes a great wig. So check her out. It's always really affordable. Now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. Click here and watch these transform subscribers wig. Oh, it's me to transform a lace front wig from Raquel Welch. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, you'll never find love. You'll end up marrying your friend after 10 years. So click it.